After earning his PhD just two years ago from UW's Jackson School of International Studies, 32-year-old Dr. Haim Katsum was living in a kibbutz or agricultural community in southern Israel. That is, until his life was taken from him Saturday. Haim Katzman's sibling, Noi Katzman, says Saturday morning they checked on him to see if he was okay, and this was the text they got back. Terrorists coming into the kibbutz, but um, it's quiet. That was the last they heard of their older brother. It was really late already, and I didn't get any answer, and I was like, can't be, there's no answer. Hamas terrorists invaded his home. Haim and his neighbor hid in his closet, but eventually... They found them and uh, they let uh, his neighbor, who was a woman, so they let her go, uh, but they shot him right away. Now they are waiting for answers on when they can retrieve his body to have a funeral. Because it's still like a war zone, so it's very difficult for them to take out the bodies. So sadly, I just don't know yet. Haim Katzman graduated from the University of Washington's Henry M. Jackson School of International Studies in 2021. It's hard to accept that he's gone. That's one of his professors with whom he previously went on a trip to Israel. It's very sad because he was a person who wanted and was sympathetic to both sides. He researched religious Zionist communities and its relationship to radicalism. It's a terrible irony. Another UW professor told me he was an engaged scholar. He really had his finger on the pulse of some really important developments in the Israel-Palestine context. But he was also so much more more than that. He was a DJ, he was a gardener, he worked in a um, garage as an auto mechanic, both in Israel and I believe here in Seattle. I said, oh, can you fix my car? <laughs> I am if I need it. I said, yeah, sure, you know, let me know what, <laughs> what you need from me. Maddie joins us uh, here now, and you mentioned that his family's having some trouble getting the body back, as sibling was telling you, that uh, what the process has been like. Oh, the process has been really difficult, Greg. Yeah, Noy actually lives in Germany, so even getting to Israel was a challenge. They told me they booked a flight to Israel and took the train two hours to Berlin, only to find out it had been canceled. It took days, I'm told, to find another flight to Israel due to all the issues getting in and out of the country. And while they made it there now, it's been tough to plan a funeral, as I mentioned, Greg. It's got to be got to be tough for these families right now to deal with something like that. I can't yeah. even imagine at this point. An active war zone.